New information tonight on an Amber Alert for a child kidnapped from Santa Maria after last night's deadly shooting. Officers responded to a report of gunshots last night at an apartment complex on North College Drive. They found a woman who had been shot several times. Now 48-year-old Konstantin Morozov is a person of interest in the case. He's also suspected of kidnapping 9-year-old Daniel Morozov. KSBY News reporter Megan Abundas has been following leads for us all day. She joins us now live in Santa Barbara with the latest information. Megan. Karina, the latest brings us here to Santa Barbara, where an SUV Morosov was believed to be driving was found here early this morning around 11 a.m. Police and CHP say he abandoned his original car, the Volkswagen Golf, at the Santa Maria Airport and later rented that SUV. The original vehicle, the blue Volkswagen Golf, has been located. After the first vehicle was ditched, a second Amber Alert went out that Constantine may be traveling in a black SUV. Suspect now reported to be in a black 2017 Jeep Cherokee with a California plate of 7 X-ray Zebra King 698. That car was found in Santa Barbara around 11 a.m. this morning at the cross streets of Lee and Maricopa Drive. Uh, we found the vehicle to be unoccupied uh, and we rendered uh, the, that portion of the community to be safe. Uh, we have an unknown uh, path of travel or direction uh, of the subject. Meanwhile, close friends and clergy have identified the woman shot to death Monday night in Santa Maria as Natalia Morozova. Close friend Irina Malkma says Constantine and Natalia were divorced. Another person from Morozova's church says she saw Natalia and her son Daniel, who is still missing, just last Sunday at Mass. Police have not yet confirmed the victim's identity. They say the victim suffered multiple gunshot wounds. The suspect is associated with a 187 in Santa Maria City last night and should be considered armed and dangerous. A friend of the victim tells me that Morisov's death came to her as a shock and that there will be a memorial service tonight for her for only friends and loved ones that knew her. And her son, nine-year-old Daniel, has brown hair, brown eyes, about 90 pounds, and is last seen to be wearing blue jeans. Now, I have some new information for you from the Orcutt Union School District Superintendent, Debbie Blow. She says she sent out an automated voicemail to about 600 families at Pine Grove Elementary. That's where nine-year-old Daniel was a fourth grader at, at Pine Grove Elementary. Now, the purpose of this voicemail was to reassure parents that it's safe to come to school, that they have additional resources on campus, including four extra counselors, four psychologists, and police. Now, that whole bunch of resources will be here throughout the week, ensuring kids that it's safe to come to school. Live and local in Santa Barbara, I'm Megan Abundas, KSBY News. And we're obviously hoping Daniel is found safe and soon. Thank you for that, Megan. And if you see the little boy or the person of interest in this case, you're asked to call 911 immediately.